In this last video here, I wanted to show some kind of little tricks and kind of hacks into uh, some additional ways to control a, you know, a, a large character's torso uh, using uh, separate rigs on blend shapes. Now, it, it's, it's very common that we use separate rigs on blend shape models for specifically the face. Um, but it can also be used for the body. Now, if you look over here, there are three separate uh, duplicates of the geometry, and these each have a unique setup on, uh, on the body, specifically dealing with the torso. And I'll go through what each one of them uh, is doing. So the first one I want to talk about is the squashing and stretching of the torso. So if I go into, if I turn on the IK controls here, and I want to stretch the spine up like that. Now you notice we're getting, if we look specifically at the torso here, let's bring this down. You notice as I bring the torso up and down, or if I bring this IK control up and down, so I'm squashing and stretching the spine, you can see that we're getting a good amount of squashing and stretching in the geometry as well. Now your first instinct may be to uh, say, well, aren't those connected to the joints? Well, the joints I have set up um, for the torso here, specifically some of these, are they're very much weighted specifically for the squashing and stretching um, when the characters, their bodies rotating. It's not really geared necessarily towards like the whole body squashing and stretching. Now I, I could try and set it up to, to have these joints kind of compress and expand as the body moves around. But that's, um, there, there is a little bit of a, it's kind of like a workaround. It's almost a hack in a way of to, to mimic those results without having to try and hook everything up into the joints here. And what I use is a, uh, a blend shape, a separate rig on a blend shape model. Now I'm going to stretch this out so you can see which model it in fact is. And you can see it's this one all the way to the right. Now you can see all, all you can really see here is a cluster. That's it. Just this one little cluster here. It's positioned in the torso of the character. Let's bring him back down here. So all it is is just one cluster positioned right in the middle of the torso. And if I look at the deformer weights here, so if I go to edit, um, paint weights, cluster. So if I go to the options here, you can see that the weights are really only designed for the torso. The weights aren't affecting the arms or the legs at all or the head. There's some on the back, not a lot, but there's far more in for the front of the body just because that's where most of the mass is on the, the torso of this character. Um, so that's really all it is. It's just one cluster placed in the middle. Um, well, I applied the cluster to the whole body or I, I applied it, I selected the verts all for the main part of the body here. And the clusters are positioned in the middle. And then I just adjusted the weight so that it's not affecting the arms and legs at all. And so that's how we can achieve some squashing and stretching results here. All with a little blend shape hack here. Now the other two, I'll deal with this one next. Um, you see we have just a series of joints here. Just uh, one joint for each pectoral area and then one for the belly. And then we have a base joint here. All this is is just a simple joint rig. Just um, really only four joints weighted for the whole body. And then these joints are weighted specifically so that I can control it. And um, I have some basic controls here. And these controls are just designed to move that specific area of the body all to really just get an additional level of control without having to have an, any additional joint set up here and conflicting with the existing joint setup that I already have. This way I can get 
some additional movement here, just on some torso areas, the pectorals, the areas that would, let's say, just have the most jiggle, let's put it that way. Um, but just some additional levels of control here without having to affect the main rig. And I can have these controls uh, follow the main rig in, in a uh, specific way. Like these are constrained with some of the spine joints here. And all it's designed to do to, is add an additional level of control here. And the last one we have here is the belly wave. And if I show these controls again, you'll notice I have some belly ripple controls. Now all this is, is just a wave deformer applied to the front of the belly and just the weights, you know, with a little bit of drop off on the weights. So all this is, if I increase, if I turn it on and I adjust the amplitude a little bit, and then I run this animation offset attribute, slow it up a little bit, you get a little bit of a belly ripple here. You know, you've seen this before in like Kung Fu Panda and things like that. Just a little extra little feature just to kind of spice things up a little bit. But these are just using blend shapes. You can get some extra movement, some extra controls on a, sp a specifically large character that you might not be able to get with just a basic rig. So that's all, all I'm trying to do here is to show you some workaround ways to control the torso of a large or fat character without having to affect the main rig, but are extremely effective in giving you that additional levels of control. So, hope you liked the video.